Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. Just call me happy. You can continue to call me whatever suits you. Uh, Dan? What are we drinking? Well, Mike. Well, Mike, uh, we've got a beer from five... Filines, filings, whatever that is. Feed ins. That look. Feed ins. Go for it, Dan. Tell me. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> it's come out to lose it. Anyways, uh, anyways, this is a beer from the Feed Ins Brewing Company. Knock knock. FLX is home, baby. Uh, <laughs> this is called That Look. And yes, we've been giving it that look since it's been in the fridge. Courtesy of our good friend Jordan, aka hey, Brews and Beats, Hops and Brews and Hats. Right. And, Danks and herbs and keep it funky beer reviews and sure. Yep. Uh, I don't even look at the name. At I just click on the picture. The of name it. of his channel technically is uh, keep it funky and dank reviews. Yeah. Uh, but his Instagram, he's got like 500. Yeah. And so he sent us off this triple IPA from Fidens. Um, so this beer is 10% ABV, mosaic, citra, and strata. Hell. Um, canned on 919, 2024. Mm -hmm. Um, Oh, they, they're stamping and doing lock code. Look at that. Look at that. Good for them. Um, about two months old. A little Perfect. shy over two months. It's going to be great. It's been in my fridge. It's just I, looking at him, eyeballing him. I haven't drank it. Drink me, Dan. The, the willpower you've shown. I didn't pour much because there might be some hot yeah. stuff going on. I don't know. It's true. Um... All right. You guys ready for Thanksgiving? It's right around the corner for us. I'm not. Oh, man. So that. That looks like a heavy turkey gravy. Turkey gravy. Dull orange. That looks like hashtag goodness. proper glassware. Hello. Yay. Gorgeous. A uh, little half finger of foamy head on there. It swirls up nice. Dan's just going to. It looks like the Fidens. It swirls up like the Fidens and the Hop Butchers. No. Uh, I'm going to get a nose on it. <coughs> oh, fresh. She's a potent one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, there is. Whoa. So that is pulling no punches on the aroma. Stinky peach. <laughs> oh, maybe some apricot in there. Oh, wow. That is filthy. <laughs> fucking put your mouth open, Dan. Oh, um, yeah, so Woo. this is just a cornucopia of ripe fruits. Flesh and is there, is, there is a very... To me, there's like a very yeasty, doughy character to it. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And it, I think it's trying to oh. balance out that sweetness, that perceived sweetness mm -hmm. off mm -hmm. of that. that Because there's a bit of like a, a vanilla cream swirl kind of candy yeah. nose yeah. going on. Nope. But that yeasty, doughy character uh, is really nice and pleasant. Like that malt, uh, it just plays well with that the hops it doesn't smell green or anything it doesn't smell like it's going to be very bitter but i could be wrong we'll see it, it, it's a lot of overripe fleshy it, it smells like it's a pastry ipa okay interesting see i definitely get more of like some crisp fruit notes yeah. as far as pastry but it's definitely potent. holy mm. that is soft like right off the rip that is just a little soft. Thanks, Jordan. Whoa! All right. There. Talk, oh, all right. Talk to me about that flavor because that, that that the beer almost changed from nose to palate. There's still something there. Oh my! Hmm. Just you know, pouring for guests, pouring for hosts. That's what we do on this channel. Um, 
All right. <laughs> Are you okay? You, you seem befuddled over there. You, you're a little yeah. just like bewildered. You're not you got gonna, that look. You're not going to like what I got to say. I can't wait. Lay it on me. It tastes funky. There's like this, that yeasty doughy thing mm -hmm. has turned funky for me. I get more of that on the palate. Like, this is very, it's very dense. It's a very dense kind of semi-syrup-esque kind of uh, mouthfeel and body to it. But right off the rip, like that malt character mm -hmm. is jacked up. And here's the thing. It's about two and a half months old. I don't know if it's amplified because of the age on it. But in my experience with Fiden's beers, they hold up. And other half beers and like these big triples, they hold up a few months. And these guys kind of, uh, they, they tend to can stuff when it's really green so it's, yeah. yeah so it almost gives you an extra amount of time to i don't know man it's um it's very good and don't get me wrong i i really enjoy it so far i'm gonna sip on it what do you what do you think i got more thoughts um uh, i'm kind of along the lines of you i feel like it it shows its age a little bit i think it goes in and out from each sip like some sips i'll get like a and it tastes a little stale, maybe a little tea or something like that. And then I'll go back again, and it'll be, okay, no, it's just dirty fruit this time. The malt bill, it's still there, but it feels mm -hmm. like it just changes with each sip. I can already say, like, two, three ounces is enough for me. I don't need really any more of this. I'm okay with it. It's all right. Was that enough talking? Do you need more time to ruminate on your thoughts, or I can continue? <laughs> it's, it's it's thrown his mind. He doesn't know what's going on right now. Everything he thought was going to happen is not happening. So it's things are changing. You're watching a real time breakdown right here. You know, I watch videos from Ninety Three Lumber. Spelled out. Keith, yes, and Keith takes his time with the beer. All right, let's incorporate some 93 and, and yeah, I got to say, it, it feels very liberating not to be flapping my gums every two minutes. <laughs> How many years into this are we? How many videos? It finally is like, you know, silence. Silence is golden. All right. What do you have to say, Mike? I, so I, the more I drink this beer, I enjoy it. Okay. Okay. Again, that yeasty kind of doughy thing hits me up front, and there's kind of like that funky. Um, it's like a funky cheddar aftertaste. Okay. A little bit, if that makes sense. The fruit comes in, a little peach, a little pineapple. I think there is definitely. Some like earthy, like strawberry notes there. Um, okay, yeah. I the bitterness is really coming into play now. I yes. and by like it's really more than like toothpaste and orange juice. I kind of. I didn't want you to say. I wanted to be like, let me see if you're getting what I'm getting because it's become toothpaste orange juice. Yeah. All right. It, it, the same. But it's a little bit more than that. It's almost biting into a grapefruit. Mm, kind yeah. of that that there's a very pithy just like oh geez I, i'm yeah. chewing on this thing like, like it just yeah yeah uh, it's drying <clears throat> drying at the end this That's beer what... is is strangely evolved fairly quickly it finishes dirty though like it just clings there it doesn't it's not clean maybe it's a bit un... anymore either. Is it, it's not undercarbed i don't know <clears throat> is it touch more carbonation Eh, eh, maybe, may, like maybe just a hint, but here's the thing: I'm tearing this thing apart, tearing it apart. That's okay. You were looking forward to it, so I mean, rip the thing apart. I, I, it, I can already tell you, like it's definitely not for me, and I, I don't even know if I'd recommend it for people like triples. But really, yeah, it just—I don't know. It seems kind of. I mean, it's a fighting spear, bro. It's it's good. 
Not everything they make can be good. I think this is better than a, a, a significant sharehold of the market. Okay. Uh, I'll take your word for it. If you like triples, give it a try. It's, it's, nah, I can do without it. That's not for me. You know, see, I, I feel like I set the tone in negativity and you just fed right into it. Nope. Not, I was kind of down on it from the get-go. Yeah, you were pretty happy. We'll roll it back. We'll, we'll roll it back. Maybe you couldn't hear me over the flapping of your gums, but. So bright. So bright. You want to read this? Um, that was weird, right? Was I heard some odd, odd sounds. It sounds like something. Um, Jordan, I enjoy this beer. It's different. Okay. Not my favorite Fiden's beer. Okay. <laughs> this has got, gotten so awkward. Um, no, I... Uh, yeah. Oh, jeez. What's the vibes, y'all? Uh, what is the vibes, the vibes y'all? I will give this a four. Okay. Um, I will. I'll go ahead and just. Uh, it, I'll give it on the. I'll give it a three eight. But for personal preference, I don't know. It's maybe a two or something. Like I don't even want to smell it anymore. It doesn't smell good. It's not for me. Yeah. What'd you give it? Like a two. I wouldn't drink this. Really? Yeah. A like two? It. Yeah, I don't care for it. Holy shit. Like, I can't even smell it anymore. I just tried to go in for another sip. I was like, no, t no, that's not for me. <laughs> Today's the day. It's going to be a day. <laughs> Today is the day. All right. Uh, we got to do things. Um, down below the description. <laughs> Whatever. Thanks for watching. If there was ever a doc, if, uh, if there was a documentary about the rise and fall of the this is beer. This is what this is the and, then, and it was like they show this video and how the, the the decline and the awkwardness of this video, and then they cut back to like, you know, the interview, and it's like, did you ever watch the Last Dance with Michael Jordan? Mm -hmm. well, that's why uh, parts of it. Yeah. Anyways, they cut back to you. It's just like you in a dark room, and you're like, that was the day. <laughs> As, yeah, I, I knew all the passion was gone. We were just doing it to do it. <laughs> we're just going through the motions at this point. I just wish, see, I, I wish we had some of the beforehand footage of as soon as I got here, this first beer he rips out of the fridge. Oh, I can't wait to do this beer. We're going to do this beer first. It's going to be great. Oh, it's going to be awesome. It's it's declined a bit. Look at that light beam. Oh, we had that problem last time, didn't we? No. No, I, I know, know we had. Um, it's the... You know, you're going through Let the motions. Right you, know we are. you know what we are? We're almost... Oh, yeah. That's nice. <laughs> We're, oh, that's nice. You know what we are? This is almost like Ridge going through the motions when he gets anything but a Nuggler IPA <laughs> from Hop Butcher. Oh, they, oh sent, yeah. they yep. sent me a lager. I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> Can we drink it? Oh, delicious. We see you. All right. Anyway. Um, Thanks for watching, everybody, and thank you, Hippity Hip Hop Dank Brew and Hippity New York Albert, whatever. Thanks. Cheers.